seen me die off him in the frame. Um, <clears throat> but I've just gone out and bought what he's going to be. Actually, I might check that camera. Yeah, that's good. It's bloody sweet, mate. Um, yeah, I've just been out and bought what he's going to be the next mod in Big Blue. Um, the reason I've gone with this particular unit, once I show you, um, I've seen heaps of people install Dometics and heaps of people install Brass Monkeys. I haven't seen one of these. Um, it's cheaper than the Dometic, but 100 bucks, 100 bucks cheaper than the Dometic, 100 bucks more expensive than the Brass Monkey, so it's a good sort of in between. Um, it's got more USB ports, it's got cup holders, uh, phone holders, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll grab it out and I'll unbox it and I'll give you a look. Um, Oztrail 15 litre centre console fridge. Um, yeah, holds 14 cans, 15 litres, pretty brilliant. So let's get it out. Um, oh, actually. I did already remove this from the box. Uh, as you can see, that's the mounting plate. So that'll mount directly to, I'm going to use timber and then lay it down the track and might go to aluminium. To replace the center console so that, that bolts straight to it and the fridge clips to that so we'll pull it all out and have a look eh Ooh, it smells new it smells pretty that's it I'll, uh, I'll grab the phone I'll give you a look yeah that's it Two cup holders, two phone holders. It's got a USB port here. 15 litres, bloody brilliant. Leather top. It's also got two USB points at the back and it's got uh, a carry strap because it is removable. Uh, I'm gonna mount it more permanently though, so. But yeah, so that's what I've bought. They're the reasons why I've bought it. Uh, let's get into ripping out the center, center console, building a, uh, a base frame for it. Screw on it, screwing her down, and then we'll wire her in. Uh, I've also got to fix the draw fridge. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's throwing a code saying it's not getting enough voltage. I don't know why. I'm guessing it might be the little gang switch panel in the fuse in its in its little control box sort of thing. So I'm going to hardwire the fridge in straight to the battery through a fuse and uh, see if that works. If that doesn't work, it might be internal in the fridge, uh, which means I have to take it back and get it repaired or replaced. So wait and see. Let's get into this. To remove the center console and the 80, literally three bolts, 12 mil rattle gun. Um, I can't really put this anywhere to show you or, or to, to time lapse uh, doing that, so I'll just rip, rip it out, um, get it out there, and I'll show you what I'm thinking I'm, I want to do, uh, and we'll go from there. Before I did anything else, I had to put it in here um, to see what it was going to be like, and it's very rough. It's literally sitting on the carpet, but there she is. Bloody beautiful, perfect height for the armrest. Um, not sure if it'll be a little bit further forward or a little bit further back, but I was a bit worried that I was going to foul on gears and that, but it's, it's bloody good. Um, so yeah, I'll get into the making the frame for it and uh, go from there. There you go, center console's out. The fridge is quite a bit larger, so it's going to be a good armrest. Um, and what I'm thinking is I want to keep my mullet mods cup holders i know i've got those ones now but i want to keep these ones just because they're that bit bigger so they're good for um bigger things and then i want to keep this storage as well so i am thinking i'm going to cut that and then make that butt up to there but we'll wait and see how we go i'm going to take this opportunity to also vacuum all this up and tidy up this that's for the sub that was for me little voltmeter and um usb ports um but yeah i'll just tidy that up and uh, start building. I bought some 12 mil ply board from Bunnings. I also bought a jigsaw because I had to leave the old man's jigsaw in New South Wales, unfortunately. So I had to buy my own. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> so yeah. All right, we're in the shed, obviously. Um, got this laying on the bit of timber uh, and I was just about to start tracing, but then I realized I need to cut the front bit off first if I want to keep, keep these. So I'm just going to cut Pretty well straight down there I'll, I'll mark it up and whatnot uh, and then that'll bolt down and then there'll be two bolts holding down the, the fridge which I'm hoping will be enough 
because it's, it's not overly heavy. I think on the box, I think it said it's like five or six kilos. So and once there's a few tins in there, like it's not, not overly heavy. So those two bolts should be plenty just to hold it in, in place there. Um, so yeah, I'll cut this up, I'll mark it up. And uh, yeah, we'll get into some timber work. Problems. There's that cut. So now I just need to make me bloody, bloody bit to there. Um, hopefully that will all be sweet. Um, there's the mullet mods, cup holders. If I can literally clip on. One of the best things ever. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can keep them. Have the fridge there. So yeah, we'll go and knock up a frame for this and smash it out. Righto, so there's the base that I've come up with, just sitting in there at the moment. Um, it's not too bad. I'll just go and carpet it now and then bolt it down. Um, I followed the same line here as the original console, so that's where the original console finished, and that's how much bigger um, this one is. So it's not massive, but um, it takes up a fair bit of room, yes. Uh, so I'll go and carpet that, get her in, uh, screw the fridge down, and then I'll get it all in place and I'll show you what it looks like before we wire it up. Right on, right on. There you go, there's that. All carpeted up, holes ready. Uh, so I've got to go mount this in the car before I can mount the mounting plate for the fridge. So we'll go throw that in, sit the fridge on it, get it where we want to have it sitting, uh, mark it, and then I'll screw the mounting plate to this, mount the fridge to that. Bob's your uncle, we'll plug her in and we'll get her going. Woo! All right, that's it in the car. That's come up pretty bloody sweet if you ask me. Um, and sturdy as too, even with only the two bolts in it there. 
So we'll go and grab the fridge, sit it on there, get it all right, and away we go. And just like that, the base plate is mounted, and we'll mount the fridge. Right, I've just finished the install of the Oztrail fridge, uh, and I must say I am very, very impressed and very, very happy. Um, I'll give you a quick look. Come this way. So that's her. That's how far back she sits compared to the old uh, center console, which only went to where it curves here, and that was it. It went straight up from there. So it's not massive, but it is at the same time, but you get heaps more storage and fridge and whatnot. Uh, we'll come into the front. Oh, now it's throwing a code, saying it's not getting enough voltage. It is only plugged in here with the ciggy socket. I haven't wired it in yet. Um, so I've got to figure that out once we'll go to hardwire it. Um, I've managed to keep my cup holders. So now I've got four, five if you want to count that. And a bit of storage there. I've just got to get a bit of pinch weld to um, hide all that and fill that gap in a bit and tidy it up. But otherwise that's not too shabby. Uh, but yeah, very impressed. Heaps of room for beers in there or bottles of water or whatever we want. Nice leather top. It's at the right height to lean on. I bloody love it. Um, and yeah, it, it took me all of took me all of two hours to install, um, if that. Um, could have done it quicker. Could have done it like taken a lot longer and got everything bang on. Um, but it's pretty bloody good for for two hours work. All up, including the fridge. I think I spent about five hundred bucks on timber, um, and then I had the carpet and everything here. So yeah, I'm very happy, very impressed. Uh, keen to try it out over Easter weekend uh, and see if I recommend it to you guys. So far, so good. Uh, looks good, but yeah, we'll see how we go. And uh, just finished the wiring. Sorry, I didn't um, take any footage of that. It's it's really really easy. Um, I literally cut the ciggy plug off it, left a bit on it just in case I ever want to use that for something. Um, earth is the bit of the cable that has the bit of texture on it, I guess. So one side of the is smooth, the other one has a bit of texture on it. I don't know if you can see any of that, but anyway. Um, so literally hardwired that in straight to the fuse block in the back, uh, running off the second battery. It's now sitting at zero degrees. Uh, that took a total of five minutes to get from, I think it was 26 all the way down to zero with nothing in it. Very happy. Um, the draw fridge, the Brass Monkey draw fridge, uh, I rewired it so it bypassed, I've now bypassed the gang switch panel so it doesn't go into that anymore. It just goes through the Anderson plug and then the, the Anderson plug goes straight onto the fuse block um, again on the second battery. Uh, they're both fused, so very happy. Uh, very keen to get out and test it out. Happy. Just to cap the video off, I thought I'd show for reference what I've managed to put in there, or well, not managed, but what I have put in there for the moment. So I've got Red Bull, two cans of Little Coke, three water bottles, and I would still fit heaps. Heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps, so very happy. Following on from yesterday's install of the center console fridge and rewiring of the drawer fridge, um, I thought everything was sweet. I'll just grab a hold of this camera more better. Hang on. Yep. Um, yeah, I thought everything was pretty sweet. Everything was running. The drawer fridge took hours yesterday to get down to 10. Um, I had it set to three degrees, which it's been like that in in the box sort of thing, I guess you call it, that it's been in um, for weeks now, and it's it worked flawlessly. hasn't hasn't had an issue. Um, but now I'm guessing maybe because it's up here in Queensland, it's a bit warmer. I don't know. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe it was overheating. Fridge wasn't throwing any codes. Uh, it just took a long time to get um, down to temp. Uh, and then this morning I came out, the battery was flat, um, which is not good at all. <laughs> um, so I've just gone to JCar and I've bought uh, a smart charger. So hopefully that bloody sorts the battery out, gets her nice and topped up. Uh, it comes with options to like hardwire it in. So I think I might do that um, just because here at home, you don't get much sun like at all so the panel isn't really in the in the sun enough i guess you'd say uh i've also bought a little 12 volt 120 mil fan that i'm going to install into the housing at the back um just to try and keep some airflow back near that compressor um like in my previous videos there is uh air holes in there like breather holes i guess you'd say but that's obviously just not enough 
having the, the fridge and the battery and everything back there. Um, so hopefully this one fan will do. I was going to get two, have one blowing in and one sucking out at like opposite spots. Um, but I'll just have have this one for the moment. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it blowing or sucking yet. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of research and see which way is better. Um, but yeah, hopefully this charger charges the battery, sorts it out. Hopefully the battery's not buggered because um, it has sort of been playing up a little bit lately. Um, but I reckon that's just because it hasn't had a full charge in I don't know how long. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm going to go and have some brekkie. Um, but we'll let this charge, see what happens with that, and then we'll get into installing this fan. Beautiful. Um, it's turned into a much bigger job than I first thought. Um, everything's been pulled out, which means I have to rewire everything, which I love doing. Um, got it, the fridge out and pulled apart. And I'm about to go and get me buddy multimeters and test light and that, because I want to, there is a fan in here. So I want to pull power from this fan. So when the compressor kicks in, when this fan kicks in, the other fan will kick in as well. Um, so um, yeah, I've got to have to plug into the battery and do all that sort of fun stuff, which is which is cool, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, um, hopefully I do this and it cools it down a bit. I'm going to find out which way this fan's blowing, um, and then I will, depending on what side, because I have to put this new fan, I have to put it on this side of the fridge, the driver's side of the fridge. So like. Um, because there's a bit of a gap here, like you can see here on the carpet, there's about that much of a gap. That's where the table sits. Um, so I want the fan to be able to draw from that gap because everywhere else, if you put it on here, it'd be right up against the wheel arch. If I put it on that side, it'd be right up against the, the seat. So, yeah, but figure out which way that fan goes to then decide which way that fan goes um, and we'll go from there. So I've just put the battery up on the, on the desk. Um, hooked everything up so the fridge started and ran um, I found that these two here so the F plus F minus run the fan and the fan is pushing air that way over the compressor and over this condenser here so I'll put this fan as close to being in line with it as I can so it continues to suck the air out um, that way and hopefully fingers crossed that helps Get rid of some of the hot air um i might even look at making a new where is it new cover so this cover here would normally sit like that over the top of the battery god i'm, I'm very horrible with the camera at the moment um but yeah it would sit like that over the battery um and then thus only having these breathing holes but the battery sits here so all these holes don't really do much um so I might look at making a new one of them out of, if I can, I don't know how I'd go about it, but I've got some Staino plates there and stuff. So I might look at trying to make like a cover plate, I guess you'd say, out of that stuff. Um, but we'll wait and see. I'll get into wiring in this other fan and we'll go from there. So that was the first mark I made. Um, while it was all still in the car and I thought yeah that'd be sweet after looking at it this is where it's going to come up um, because the vent for the fridge is directly behind this so that'll be um, pretty well the perfect spot I, I think uh, we can try it out we can always add another fan down the track or whatever uh, but I'll get into cutting this out fitting the fan um, I just did the number one no no um, but anyway um, and then I think I'm going to get some of that spongy stuff that you can use like in between your radiator um, shrouds just to make it so the fan is sucking directly from the fridge vent, not just pulling air from around as well. So I just want it to be pulling the air that the other fan in the fridge is pushing towards it, just to get it flowing a bit better. Um, but yeah, we'll try this. And if this doesn't work good enough, we'll get uh, another fan and we'll make it a forced induction. So this one's sucking, we'll make the other one pushing. Um, and hopefully that keeps it cool. Surely that'll keep it cool. So. Cut this out, we'll get into wiring, and then put it all back together. Fan's mounted, uh, I've got the little meshy thing there. Um, just use some of those. Uh, the better way to have done it probably would have been just to cut a big circle out of the timber, um, but I wanted the fan to be as flush as possible. 
Um, and if I had done that, I would have had the fan just bolted to the outside of the timber. So I've done it like that. Um, I will fill in the gaps with something yet. I'm not sure what. Um, but yeah, so now we'll get into joining these wires into there, um, into this, these two here. So let's get that. This is still going. It's been plugged in for bloody near three hours and it's still, like that says, like it's all the way, but it's still only at 13.3. And this is saying 13.2, still charging. I disconnect and it says 14.4 and the instructions reckon it's gonna get to 14.4. So I'm very interested to see what is going to happen here. Um, I may need to change the settings on my solar and DC DC charger um, because they might not be charging it to the right voltage um i guess you'd say it might be getting to like 13.8 and cutting out i'd have to i have to have a look at all that um but yeah very interesting to see what this is actually going to do probably going to be the first time in a long time that the battery's actually been fully charged so that's not great uh, but we'll see what happens um i'm about to start putting all this back together i've finished mounting the fan like you saw before i've run some more wires so that's going to be the wire for the fan so i'll put this back together start bolting everything back together once I put that in there fan will be wired I did test run them and it all works sweet um, so now it's just going to be a matter of uh, putting it in there and seeing if it makes a difference so fingers crossed I, um, it's all all back in the car all rewired uh, I'm just waiting for this battery to finish charging but it's still still sitting at 3.3 saying it's not fully charged it's been on all day it's been on time to get home uh, about nine nine o'clock nine thirty it's now bloody one o'clock so i don't know i might um get the battery in the car test everything make sure it's all right uh and then i'll turn both the fridges off and i'll charge the battery overnight hopefully that that's enough and that does it but we'll wait and see um you can sort of see down in there the fan so hopefully that's enough just the whole point of putting this fan here was just to get the air out of the back of that box. It was just to get it out so that it was sort of circulating a little bit better. So hopefully that there works. <coughs> we'll find out. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll throw the battery in, make sure everything works um, and charge it overnight. Um, but yeah, so that'll probably cap off this video. Um, bit of electrical. It's been pretty bloody good. Um, some more custom stuff. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm not sure what what it's going to be. Um, might be modifying the bull bar. I, I don't know yet. We'll wait and, wait and see. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, head over to Instagram. Give us a follow. Uh, subscribe on this YouTube. Leave a comment down below what you reckon. What you reckon I should do with the big girl. Uh, give us a message or give Jay Soul a message. Um, We're getting stickers, uh, hoodies, all that sort of stuff. We can still do it all. Um, but yeah. Thanks, guys.